Good morning, good morning, what up? So today we're out in Shelby Township. We're doing this job that, that day that I was going around the whole day tarping stuff and I just knocked, I was knocking on doors. Um, this job is a result of that and then this one as well, the neighbor's house. So I, I tarped this one and then I came over and tarped this one. They actually had a uh, can vent blew off so they had a hole in their roof when I seen it. And I was tarping somebody on the back yard here and I looked across back over there. I looked across and they were missing a can vent so there was a hole right into their roof. So I went and knocked on the door. Luckily they were home and as a result I ended up meeting the insurance adjuster here and getting the job. So there's a delivery truck. So roof we're gonna tear off. So architects they were damaged by wind damage. So look in the back. The good boys are probably pulling the tarps now. When you look back here, tarps on the roof. See, there's the can vent that was fell off. And then the holes from wind damage. See this whole section? So we're gonna replace this bad boy today. Get this going. This is another one, wind damage over here. Um, so on that one, I'm just waiting for the insurance adjuster's estimate to come in so we can get started. But yeah, they covered this whole roof. So it's 36 square. Nice easy one. Nice seven pitch. So the guys are here. We're going to rock and roll. We're setting up jacks at the bottom just so we can stand on them to throw trash right into the dumpster so nothing goes in the ground. The rest of the roof won't need to be jacked, just put boards in the bottom. So you got uh, some boxwoods down here, so we built, I call them teepees, over the boxwoods. So we're just getting started protecting everything. Uh, we'll put tarps over brick pavers so they don't get colored on. Tarp in the driveway on the right side in case you miss the dumpster, it's not going to get all black marks on it. So it's the number one thing is protecting the property, because your roof is already expected to be perfect. You're getting a new roof, of course. But the ground is what the customers see. So we want to make sure everything on the ground is protected and everything's cleaned up. So that's what we're going to do. We got some siding down here. We're going to place this wall. Uh, just your scene had a couple marks on it. So we actually just replaced it. I don't, I don't think it really needs it. But, you know, hey, they want to look out for their insured. We're going to come back down here. Rock and roll. Get this started. Down here too, pavers. Gotta have tarps over pavers. So when I come back, this thing will be hundo. Take the boys about, I don't know, nine hours. Oh. Signs always in the yard. All right, what's up everybody, what's up? So, I'm back at Shelby. Um, kind of here to inspect the roof, make sure everything's good, paint the pipes, um, and go over this job. So, I have not been on the roof yet. Let's go check out what we're doing. Yard sign, of course. Roof's complete. This is Landmark Pro Prairie Wood. Inch and a half brown drip. I put inch and a half on everything just because it looks so good. Make sure the water gets inside the gutters so it eliminates uh, you coming back because water's leaking behind the gutters. We redid the siding on the gable. Um, insurance covered that because of storm damage. A little bit of cap on that um, bay we were short over the weekend. The distributor was closed. So we're going to come back and do that here. But let's go up and take a look. Here we are. So, super high def. 
shingles, ridge vent all the way across, see we're short some cap here. So if we're gonna leave stuff overnight and we're short on cap on ridge vent, we always put a piece of cap over the seams just to make sure they don't leak. So basically I just do a quick check, walk over the roof, check all the flashings, the bottom of the valleys, make sure that we're good here, everything's flashed in the bottom. That's good. I'm no cross. Side. All of our shingles are straight. We're not having disappearing rows. Bottom of your pipe collars. Always caulk these. I don't know how many times I've been on a job and this has either warped or this is cracking. So we always caulk these. I'm gonna paint. I always paint these pipes to make sure that they match our shingles. A little bit of paint. And then it kind of just blends in from a distance. Don't have to be too fancy with it. Just give it a good overall look. I know nobody sees the back, but I do. So there, kind of just blends in with the pipe collar. You're not supposed to replace the rubber grommet on the bottom, it says, or paint, I mean. It says do not paint right on top of it. I think it dries out the rubber. I'm assuming that would be the reason. Well, here's our dormer pipe. So instead of having a glowing white pipe on a dark roof, paint this bad boy. Damn, there she goes. Check out this valley. It's tight. Cocked it all in. This side's got some flash. Let's go check that out. So a lot of times too, people will not flash this. They'll just run a shingle underneath. I always want flashing all the way up here, up under the valley. And then flashing goes up under the drip. So that way water, ice, and snow, when it backs up because the gutter's so close to the roof, has somewhere to go. This I call a kicker. I always cut, even chimneys or whatever I wrap, we cut these cards out so it pushes water beyond the entry point. So even though this shingle's continuous, goes all the way across, this is still pushing water out here so it doesn't get back there. We replace the metal back here. Again, you can see the flashing all the way up. Make sure the cards are flat the right way, which if they're not, then you try and find somebody else to install them. But, yeah, I mean, flawless, man. Round pipe matches the roof. From a distance, the pipe just kind of blend in. But that's what we do, man. That's what we do. So every job, check. Make sure it's good. I already ran the nail magnet around the bottom. Signs in the yard. Uh, three other people came over while my guys were doing the roof and I scheduled estimates with them. Um, we actually did this one here. This is Shenandoah. This one over here, we did Pro Black, Moray Black. And then the one beyond that, the next one over here, that one's Pro Weatherwood, we did that one. That black one across the way, right here. We're waiting on an insurance adjuster, I'm meeting him Thursday. And then the neighbor here, same thing. Oh, actually, no, I met the insurance adjuster. I'm just waiting on some numbers and approve estimate. And then I guess there's a few more in here that we'll, in, in here that we'll get because of that. So I just knocked on the door, man. That was it. So that's what you gotta do, man. Out here getting it no matter what. Let's take a walk around. <clears throat> Nothing damaged, everything looks good, so I'd say another A1 job by the team. So that's what we do, man. Flawless work, that's what we do. See you guys in the next one.